Wasabi Wallet. I'm fairly private. But now we are talking about transaction broadcasting. So we have our transaction up there and we have uh, the Bitcoin network. How do we broadcast our transactions? Uh, we select a Bitcoin node, full node, and we broadcast it to it. Now this is not going to work because we did not sign the transaction. So we take our private key, sign the transaction, and broadcast it again. But we have a problem with this. What if the node that you are broadcasting to is spying on you? Then it's going to know your IP address. Now, at one point, chain analysis was controlling 20% of Bitcoin full nodes, so maybe at that point you had one to five chance to, that they are going to spy on you. Now maybe you have one to ten, I don't know. This is not a terrible way from a privacy point of view to broadcast, but we can do better. For example, how? Put it through another network, which is called the Tor network. It's an anonymization network, anonymity network, and broadcast our transactions through this anonymity network. And now we are happy. It's completely private. But there can be some more nitpicking, and we can improve on this more. Because we are using the Tor network in a way that we are using Tor exit nodes. So we ask Tor exit nodes to broadcast our transactions. And if the exit nodes and the entrance nodes are controlled by the same party, then they can figure out our IP address. Even if the node is not spying on you. I don't think it matters, but you know, who knows? Maybe the NSA is running the Tor network most of it, but we can notice that the, some of the Bitcoin core nodes are also Tor nodes. And we can just stay inside the Tor network with this and broadcast our transactions to them. And this is how Wasabi Wallet is broadcasting your transactions. <laughs>